heating nearly year-round here in Southern California, so protecting your skin should be a priority. This may be a surprise to you, but melanoma is the fastest growing cancer in the world, especially for people under the age of 35. In fact, it is the leading cause of cancer death in women 25 to 30 years old. That's just so surprising to me. Joining us to tell us all about how we can protect ourselves and also about an upcoming fundraising 5K is board-certified dermatologist Dr. Anna Guanche. Thank you so much. Welcome okay. back. You were just here talking about your new book, Seven Days to Sexy, and yes. now you're, you're going to keep us alive. Now, yes, um, right? very important. So it's good that we're talking about this on Veterans Day because veterans have a generally increased risk for all types of skin cancer mm. just due to their hours in the sun just during their they're service. They're outside all the time. Right. Yeah, yeah, they're outside all the time. And um, 7,000 people a year in the United States die from melanoma mm. and it's estimated that 9 out of 10 of those deaths are preventable. And, and preventable and A, B, C, D, E, we need to remember that, yes, right? The a, B, C, D, yes, the A, B, C, D, E. So A, B, C, D, E is a good way for you guys to remember um, how to check your moles. So asymmetry, if they're lopsided, if the border is irregular and has like a, a feathered border or a border of your mole that doesn't look round. If you have multiple colors in your mole, if it's red, black, brown, all these different colors, and if the diameter is bigger than six millimeters, which you could estimate by the size of a pencil eraser. Mm. Okay. And then um, the final thing is evo evolution or evolving. In other words, when every few months it's changing. So if you see these kind of symptoms, that's when you're signaled that you should check your mole. And how would you even see these symptoms unless you were doing body self-examination? Oh, okay. So body self-exams are very important. You just look in the mirror, check your body over in the front and back, and you definitely need to use a mirror to check your undercarriage, Bobby. What do you do if they're waving so, back at you? <laughs> if your moles are waving back at you, then there's a problem. Okay. Yeah. No. And then you can always ask that your hairdresser. That was quite beautiful, actually. You can, a nice that was a good mole. That was a nice mole. Um, okay, good. And then you can ask your hairdresser to, when you part your hair finally mm -hmm. to oh. check for moles in your scalp, too. Mm -hmm. That's a good little tip. Um, right. Ask them for help with that. Also, so, go ahead. I'm sorry, you said the undercarriage, but that doesn't really get much sun. How is but this? Still you still can actually, area? people get, believe it or not, People get melanomas inside their eyeballs. They get on them the in their feet. cervix, on their, you know, and, and sun protected areas mm. sometimes. Okay. okay. It's not most common. Most common is obviously sun exposed right. areas. So check but. it. Okay, so if any um, of that is off, then that's when you need to call your dermatologist. You call your dermatologist, and then okay. they will use this gadget, most likely. This is called a dermatoscope, and they will closely check your moles and see them to the depth mm -hmm. of them to make sure that this there's nothing only suspicious one right going here. on. He's oh, curious I can about check this, this one. one. Let's yeah. see. It looks okay. He's going to be fine. Can you go, <laughs> Can you, we I'm going to survive. We decide whether we want to do further testing on you based on what we see in okay. the scope. Okay. And then, you know, and that kind of keeps you safe. So that's what you want to do. See your dermatologist if you see changes. Okay, so self-check once a month. Once a month in the mirror, mm -hmm. do your body self-exam. Okay, and then, of course, then, sunscreen. Yeah, you have to wear sunscreen regularly, and you have to avoid the sun. You can't just wear your sunscreen and go lay out in the sun. You have to... Wear sunscreen, seek shade, wear some protective clothing, and all that stuff. And don't go in tanning beds. They increase your risk of melanoma by 75%. Ooh. Yeah, yeah that's no good. Know, and people are still amazing. doing it, which is insane. What SPF do you recommend? So for being outdoors, right. I like 30 or higher. Okay. 30 or higher. For your daily, over, under your makeup, you could do 15 to 20. Under your makeup, Bobby. Under your Got makeup, it. Bobby. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, some yeah, makeup yeah. does have SPF, though, I found out. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Makeup has zinc okay. in it, so, so it is kind yeah. of SPF. So Saturday's event, Bella Skin mm -hmm. Institute, your business is the presenting sponsor for this upcoming yes. walk. It's Miles from Melanoma 5K Walk and Run this Saturday, November the 16th. It's at Griffith Park. It's presented by Bella Skin Institute, and you can go to melanoma.org for mm -hmm. more information. Come walk with us. We're Bella's Melanominators. Oh, so I come like walk that. with us. Yeah. Melanominators. <laughs> Dr. DeCastro Yo. and I will be right back. <laughs> with show and tell, show wow. and tell. <laughs> Love it. Thank you, doctor. <laughs> oh, no problem.